In this lecture, we are going to talk about dimension and fact, also known as measure tables. Let's first look at dimension tables. Dimension table contains the descriptive information about the numerical values in fact table, that is, they contain the attributes of the facts. It is small in size, contains only several thousand rows, but the size can be increased occasionally. These tables are associated with a fact table through foreign keys. It contains hierarchical relationships and grows horizontally. Every dimension table needs to have a primary key that helps to uniquely identify each record of the dimension table. The values in the dimension table are mostly in textual format and not in numeric format. Attributes present in dimension table permits to derive details through traversing from the higher level to lower level, or it also allows rolling up from lower level to the higher level of the attributes. Now, let's talk about fact or measure tables. A fact table has values of the attributes of dimension table and it contains quantitative information in a denormalized form. It basically contains the data that needs to be analyzed. It mostly contains numeric data that can be aggregated and it grows vertically as it contains more records and fewer attributes. Fact table consists of a key that is the combination or concatenation of all primary keys of various dimension tables associated with that fact table. Such key is called a concatenated key, which uniquely identifies the row of the fact table. Grain of the table means the level of the detail or the deepness of the information that is stored in the fact table. The level must be the highest for designing an efficient fact table. Some records present in the fact table contain attributes with null values or measures that is, these records do not give or provide any information for all rows. 